Where is Blue Origin? The mystical name itself invokes a sense of quiet wonder. The Blue Origin, it's a name that depicts us as humans originating from the blue planet, our home, venturing into outer space. This is one of the aptest names for a company that deals with space tech and starships. Let's take a look at this company, where it is now, and what it is doing. Welcome back to our channel, and like SpaceX is to Elon Musk, we have Blue Origin to yet another billionaire Jeff Bezos. We'll talk more about this in our video below. The Blue Origin is a private aerospace manufacturer and spacecraft company that sticks to the suborbital region and has headquarters in Kent, Washington. This was established in 2000 by Jeff Bezos and is led by CEO Bob Smith. Like SpaceX, the aim is similar to make space research and travel more economical, thus progressing the rate of development in the field by leaps and bounds. They focus on building reusable launch vehicles and basic materials. Their next aim is to increase their service from suborbital to orbital flight iteratively. In fact, their motto itself says, Gratitum Ferociter, which means step-by-step -step ferociously in Latin, which we indeed see them do. They've come a long way from where they started and let's see how. The technologies they construct and design are focused on rocket-powered vertical takeoff and vertical landing VTVL, to access the orbits. Their initial aim was to build suborbital flights and many of their prototypes and test vehicles were flown from their Texian facilities. The cool part, the developmental test flights were named after the first American in space, Alan Shepard in 2015, kind of an apt tribute to their bold ventures. Commercial space flights are still a thing of the future and their persistent efforts for it is commendable. However, due to many hitches and delays, the date to accommodate the first passenger was pushed to 2019. The test flights seem like a huge success, however, since 2015, they have reached a test altitude of 100 km with a top speed of Mach 3, which is 3,675 km per hour, reaching about the Kármán line successfully. The vehicles also allowed soft landing of the space capsule and rocket booster. This is very heartening for this company, as the quality and success factor was established. The next step is to just commercialize it. Brief History of Blue Origin Blue Origin started out as a rocket engine supplier initially before 2014. However, they once forged a collaboration with the US launch system operator called United Launch Alliance ULA, to build a new large rocket engine called the BE-4. The success of this inspired them to make and man its own orbital launch vehicle called New Glenn from the Florida coast. Qualification of BE-4 testing was expected to be done by 2018, but it got delayed to 2019. Once this was done, Bezos got energized. In May 2019, Jeff Bezos came out with Blue Origins, Hopes and Visual the BE-4. The success of this inspired them to make and man its own orbital launch vehicle called New Glenn from the Florida coast. Qualification of BE-4 test was expected to be done by 2018, but it got delayed to 2019. Once this was done, Bezos got energized. In May 2000 landing system, as an extension to NASA's Artemis program to return humans to the moon. So the Blue Origin is expanding in both growth and concepts to make sure it leaves a mark behind. The fascinating projects it undertakes have captured a lot of public's attention and it won't be long before it would be as well known as NASA. The, per the personality behind Blue Origin Jeff Bezos has been such a dynamic personality and him being in the top 3 richest men on earth category, taking an active interest in Blue Origin certainly works in the favor of space travel. He's crazy smart and was a class valedictorian of his high school and when that happened in 1982, he gave an interview where he said he wanted to build space hotels, amusement parks and colonies with 2 to 3 million people in orbit. He said the primary aim to reduce overpopulation on Earth to protect it and somehow evacuate humans to space. The planet should be a park, he says. In 1999, he watched the rocket-related biopic movie called October Sky and wanted to form a space company along with a sci-fi author, Neil Stephenson, and thus in 1999, Blue Origin came into existence. They first wanted to delve into rocket propulsion system and launch vehicles, but the company was always secretive about their plan and broke their self-imposed silence in 2015. And before that, people didn't even suspect what Bezos was up to when he started buying land and often said he was trying to do a land grab. 
Blue Origin wanted to fly with the crew in 2012 and Bezos said he wanted that dream realized. He also outlined his two targets, to decrease costs and increase the safety of space flights for humans and he hoped by 2018 they could do it regularly. The growth of the company has been remarkable where first only 250 people were employed and it has grown to 350 encompassing all those who worked on the engineering, manufacturing and business aspects. By 2017, the company garnered 1,000 employees and later 1,500 in 2018. This seems like a really great place to work. There are many talks that NASA's innovation levels dipping down. Employment seem more attractive in private space agencies. Hence, more workforce got available to companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin, and this considerably affected their growth. The funding also has been great, with Bezos investing over $500 million into his own company and Blue Origin spent $1 billion a year, and he has been transparent about how he invests in it. Achievements One of the greatest things they did was on 23rd of November 2015, where they launched a new Shepard rocket to space for a second time to an altitude of 100.53 kilometers, and the rocket boosters landed vertically just 5 feet from the center of the launch pad. This capsule itself descended to the ground with parachutes 11 minutes after launch. This marked the first time a suborbital booster went to space and landed back to Earth safely. They repeated this on the 22nd January with the same result and this proved they achieved the reuse and recovery part. They did it a third time for perfect results. This paved way for many more programs and ideas. In 2015, they declared an unnamed orbital launch vehicle powered by the BE-4 rocket engine, while the second stage would be powered by the BE-3 rocket engine. Future Sites Commercial space flight services were to be started in 2018 but got delayed and the orbital rocket to be launched called New Glenn might fly its first flight in 2021. Bezos says he won't underestimate the potential of space flight as many people love it and have dreamt about it not just for entertainment but also for tourism. He said he isn't concentrating at all on the US military contributions and said it might change in the future but for now they just want it for the people. In 2019, they planned for a soft moon landing and declared plans of a BE-7 engine. While the estimate for the first launch of New Glenn was to be early 2021, there are rumors of them saying it wouldn't be possible until the fourth quarter of 2022. Another amazing thing lined up for Blue Origin is the $500 million funding by the US Air Force for the years 2019 to 2024. Blue Origin's collaboration with NASA has also generated interest. The company was awarded $3.7 million in 2009 by NASA because of a Space Act agreement. In April 2011, Blue Origin got a contract from NASA for $22 million of funding under the CC Dev Phase 2 program. The specialty of Blue Origin One major amazing thing would be the fact that Neil Stephenson worked part-time at the Blue Origin and it is said that he along with company employees sat together and discussed a lot of ideas and this led to his novel Seven Eves. Why we feel this is kind of amazing, most of the time people would have resources and the know-how of stuff but wouldn't get a novel idea. It is important for ideas, at least a skeleton of it, so that you can build on it and analyze it and work together to make it huge. Bezos bringing Stephenson into the foray is one of the best steps he could take for the innovation and development. Bezos has had a beautiful long-term vision for humans. He said he wanted to take industries off the earth and make earth just for residents just like how it was before. This would lighten earth's load and not compromise on development. We think that's a beautiful idea. And if they managed to do it, it would help Earth's recovery from all the carbon footprints we have left on it. While we hope it's soon, it just depends on Blue Origin. Until then, we can just help in our small ways by taking up eco-friendly practices. Where is, Blue Where is Blue Origin now? They're bidding their time to send the first commercial space flight safely. It is a crucial and make-or-break situation, so the delay is understandable. The face of the company rests on the success of the flight and all should go perfectly well safety-wise. Landing-wise and the expenses also shouldn't be high. The health technology should be in top shape in the shuttle and in fact, they considerably advertise the fact they incorporated technology to treat heart trauma in their space vehicle. So even if they delay, it seems to be okay.
Bezos also seems to have a lot on his plate. However, due to his active status, Blue Origin certainly isn't sleeping. It might be a matter of just a few months before we see it in the news headlines again for yet another achievement. Bezos may not have the charisma and charm of Musk because of which SpaceX is a household name of sorts already. Blue Origin is far less popular, but is working efficiently in the shadows and would let their work do the talking. We can surely expect great things from it. 2021 and 2022 might just be its year to take off, literally. What do you think about Blue Origin? Is there any snippet of information that we missed? Do let us know in the comments below. If you liked the video, hit the like button and share it with your friend. Subscribe to our channel for more such content. We'll see you in the next video.